Hi, my Urine friends. My name is Crystal, and I'm on here today to do a tutorial. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And my tutorial is for these guys. <laughs> Look at them. They're my little mini monsters. They look like a little gumdrop monster. Look at them! I'm so excited. <laughs> Let me show you his little legs. This is a no so amigurami. I am sick. He takes me about 35 minutes for healthy people, probably 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. Oh, look at his legs. Aren't they fun? If you wanted him straight, I'm sure you could stiffen him with whatever that stuff you stiffen yarn with. But I like him just fun like this. And this one's fun right here with three eyes. This, my husband called him Dow Jones. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> He can't decide whether he's happy or he's sad. <laughs> so in this tutorial, um, I do not teach you how to do stitches. This is not a stitch tutorial. So you will need to know how to do a magic circle, a chain, a single crochet, a half double crochet, a increase, and a decrease. Um, you do see my stitches, but if you are brand new to crocheting, this is not the tutorial for you. But if you're maybe an advanced beginner, this is the tutorial for you. Um, I did not, you know, it's not perfect. I say rows instead of rounds frequently. <laughs> I said row nine twice, but I corrected that in a text. Just simple little things, but they don't matter uh, in the making the amigurami. I still think it turned out really well, considering it's my very first tutorial. And um, the the camera, I, my hands, seeing my stitch, all that turned out really, really well. The quality and all that. It's just a little mishaps the same round instead of row or vice versa. Just little stuff. But other than that, I'm really excited to see your makes. I have a Facebook group. I will link it in the description box below. So if you make it, I'd love to see it. I'm on Instagram. Um, my Instagram name is here because chronically crocheting was taken. Um... Or you could email me. My email is in the description box below. If you want to show me your makes. Um, so I'm really excited about this tutorial. I'm very excited. I think that I um, have addressed everything. And in the beginning, it'll show you everything needed for the tutorial. And let's get started. So for the tutorial to make this cute little guy right here, you are going to need some four weight yarn. I use Premier Just Active Worsted. You are going to need 11 to 12 grams, roughly 20 yards of um, a four weight yarn. You're going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook or whatever size hook you like to use for a four weight amigurami um, yarn. You're going to need some embroidery floss or perhaps um, you could just use a smaller weight yarn or just a four weight if you choose. You're going to need some stuffing, a bit more than this. I, I don't know how much, not a ton. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need a darning needle. You're going to need a stitch marker. I use this to hold my yarn. I do not know what it's called. You don't need it, but since it's in the video, I thought I would show it to you. I This is a generic brand. I prefer Clover, but I don't know where mine went. 
but I get a deep indention in my arm when I hold my yarn and it hurts. So this helps me a lot. It takes a while to get used to. You don't need it. I use a piece of um, ribbon to keep track of my rows and to use basically as my stitch marker. This stitch marker I just use to when I stuff. I use a 20 milligram safety eye or uh, millimeter <laughs> or for the guy with like three eyes I use those are 10 millimeters safety eyes but for this tutorial you just need if you're going to use this it's a 20 millimeter um, I really like these backs from um, an Etsy shop I'll leave a link in the description box. I don't have any affiliation. Um, I use, this is um, felt. It's a harder one. You don't need to use a harder one. That's just what I have. And then this right here, I use this on the back of my eyes. I'll, sh I'll show you what I do with it. And it is um, called 808 Craft Fuse. You don't have to use this. It's just a little tip that I'm going to show you that I use um, to just make the safety eyes stronger. So let's get into the tutorial for this cutie pie. Okay, first we're going to start off with a double magic circle or a magic circle, whatever you're familiar with. This isn't a tutorial on how to do it, but a double magic circle. I'll just briefly go over it. You, instead of wrapping it just once, you wrap it around your fingers twice. You go back, put your hook through here. You grab it, twist, then I pinch right there. I always do one, st one chain, pull it tight, and then what I found with the double magic circle, you always want to free this um, strand of yarn right here so it's not in the way. Then you want to place for row one, six single crochet into your magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. And with this magic circle, you want to not pull on this area right here. You want to pull on one and see if it see how easy that one pulls if i was to pull this one it wouldn't pull very easy the second um circle so pull on the one that's easy pull it until it's almost closed but not quite closed because then you're going to take this end piece and pull it all the way closed and tight super super tight and with that, you'll never get that magic circle open again. It is super tight. So now we have six single crochet. Um, I am going to, this is my stitch marker I use. I find that a ribbon is the best thing. It doesn't fray. You can use it over and over and over again. I used to use a piece of yarn, but you only got a couple uses before it frayed. I like this method the best. So then I'm gonna mark it so I know where the end of the row is. This on my finger because it hurts. I lost it. So I'm gonna place that back. Now I'm gonna place an increase in every single crochet. An increase is two single crochets, one, two in each st stitch for a total of 12. So one, two, three. 
at the end of your row two, you will have a total of 12 single crochets. For round three, you're going to do one single crochet, then an increase. I didn't get two of those. You want to make sure you get both of those loops. One, two, then a single crochet in the next, then an increase. So that's two single crochets in one stitch. One single crochet, two in the next stitch. One single crochet, two in the next stitch. I like the ribbon because I don't need to count. One single crochet, two in the next stitch. That's all I have to do. And I know I'm at the end, close to the end, I got one single crochet and I should end in an increase and I did and there's my ribbon. So round four, so I'm gonna flip this over to mark my new row. I'm going to do two single crochets in the neck um, and then an increase. So that means one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch and in the next one I'm going to do an increase that's two single crochets in one and I'm going to repeat this pattern so one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and increase which is two single crochets in the next stitch so I'm going to repeat that all the way around round four so one one, increase. One, one, increase. One, one, increase. One, one, increase. And at the end of round four, you will have 24 single crochets. So for rounds five through eight, which is four rounds, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. So each round will have 24 stitches in it and you're going to do that a total of four times so by the end of that you will have eight rounds so i am going to meet you at the end of round eight Here I am at the end of round eight. I'm doing the last few stitches and I'm at my marker. And the reason why I'm, I like this is if I ever need to rip back, I can rip back and I'll know exactly where my um, rounds start and finish. So then I could rip back exactly. Once you take, if you use a stitch marker and move it every time, you won't know where the beginning of each round is if you ever have to rip back. So you should have eight rows and let's count them. Here's one, two, three, here, maybe this way is better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight rounds. And now the next round we're going to do is we're going to work on the arms. So we're going to do one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, in the back loop only, not the front, we're going to do a slip stitch. So grab the yarn, pull it through, pull it through. And now we're going to do four chains. One, two, three 
four. Get my yarn. And we're going to now skip the first one and in the second chain, we're gonna do a half double crochet. So one, and we're gonna do two more half double crochets in the next two loops. One, and here's the last chain, two. So now you have a total of three half double crochets. Then you're going to slip stitch and you can see it just poking out at you right there into the same stitch that you, you originally slip stitched in. So slip stitch. And then now you're gonna do 10 single crochets in both of the loops. Whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, I did move my yarn. Now we're going to do the same thing we did for the other arm. We're going to slip stitch only in this back loop right here. That's the front loop. Here's the back loop. We're going to slip stitch, chain four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to do a half double crochet in the second loop from the hook. And now we're gonna place two more half double crochets, one in each chain. Here's one. And there's the last one. Two for a total of three. One, two, three half double crochets. Slip stitch in this the same place that you originally slip stitched. And now we're gonna place 11 single crochets in both of the loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Now, now for round nine, we're going to place 24 single crochets, but we're gonna do it a little different. So for the first stitch, place one single crochet. And now here we are at the arm where we did it in the back loop only. Right here, you can see this is our slip stitch. You don't want to do anything with it. You want to go to maybe push the arm down and see the loop that we never crocheted into on that stitch. You want to place one single crochet into that loop right there. One single crochet. Now what you want to do is take your arm, push it forward and to the side and then in the next stitch and you can see the next stitch because it's a V there's a V so in those two stitches right there you want to place your next single crochet now you want to do nine single crochets one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're back to another arm and then you have your slip stitch. That's your slip stitch. You don't want to do anything with it. You want to push it down and right here, this is the top of that one stitch we did the arm. You want to the the um, put your single crochet into that. 
single crochet. Now you want to take the arm, push it forward, and push it to the side, and you can see your next single crochet. You want to place one single crochet into that, and then one single crochet into the next 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, nine, ten. So for row 11, you just want to place 24 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So for round twelve, you want to do three single crochets, then an increase. So one, two, three, increase. That's two single crochets in one. Okay, one, two, three, two single crochets in one. 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 And you can see we are at the end because of our ribbon. That's the end of our row, our round. So before we do round 13, I'm going to take my hook out. I am going to place a stitch marker so I don't lose any stitches. And now we are going to work on the eye. This is the back of the eye where you, I mean the back of the body where the, um, you see your loop is, your working loop. We want to turn it around to the other side. And this is the side, this is our front side where we're going to place the eye. So this is my eye that I'm going to use, this green eye. And this right here is my um, felt. And this is kind of a stiff, stiffer felt. I'm going to cut a square out around here so I can then shape my shape it around my eye because I want a little felt behind it. So I'm going to probably not cut this perfectly. 
So that looks good to me. Now what I do to get the eye through is I fold it in half. I make just a little cut, fold it in half the other way in the same area, make a little cut. Then let's see if I made a big enough cut. If not, see, I can't push it through. I find where that is and I just make a little bit bigger of a cut right there. And then, yay, see, I can push it through now. So that's how I use. Now I can cut around here, not perfectly, but and leave just a little area around. And he's a monster, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it as big, if it has much white as you want, you could use a different color, that's always fun. I did do a different color on one of mine instead of white, and that was a lot of fun. So then now my eye is ready. Now, what I like to do, first I'm gonna place him. You can, so we're gonna go um, six rows down, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in between six and seven, that's where I'm gonna place it. So first I just put it in here where I think maybe the center is, and I press it in. And then to see if it's centered, I actually flatten him out to where his arms are. And look at that. I think it's pretty centered. So I did it. <laughs> but when you flatten him out like that, you can, you'll be like, oh, I need to move him over one or two stitches. So um, there's one other thing I like to do on the inside right here. And I showed you at the beginning, I use the... Um, it's called craft fleece and this is it. So then I cut a piece of this and it's super thin. And I'm gonna cut it just a little bit smaller. And then I do the same thing. I fold it in half, cut a little bit, fold it in half again. I cut a little bit. This just on the back of here makes it more secure when I place my safety eyes so a kid cannot pull this through. So it's not going to be able, to, um, a child will have a harder time pulling the eye through because it's going to have this extra barrier that this safety clip is holding on to. So it just secures it better. And so now, with my safety eye, I'm ready to place it. And this guy just snaps. Let's see if I can do it on camera. <laughs> oh, no! Well. Oh, I did it. He snapped. Yay. So now you have this and you just have more of a chance for it not to, There's just no way a child's going to get that through the eye. The next thing we want to do is take a little piece of our embroidery floss, I don't know, six inches or maybe eight inches, and cut a little piece, and I forgot my needle. Hold on. Okay, now I got my needle. I got my needle. So... We are going to place the mouth, and I just guess. I don't do anything exact. I want it to come out about here and here on each side and go down. That's how I want his smile to be. So that's what, one stitch over? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The bottom of row eight. If you, oh no, bull Jiminy Crickets. So right there. And then I'm gonna hold that down on the back. I'm gonna go down, that looks good. 
Sorry about that, guys. And then I'm going to leave it there and go basically the same area over here. Like that. You can do the mouth however you want. Then I'm going to go back, but I'm going to make sure that I split this in half to get it in just to help it look more connected. Go in there, pull it through, and there's my mouth. Yay! So then, let me take this off. I'm going to tie a few knots to tie it down. One, two, three. I'm going to do one more. Four. All right, I'm going to shove that in. So now we are ready to do round 13. Isn't he cute so far? <laughs> so for round 13, let me take this off. Back in here. So I'm going to take my ribbon, pull it down. So now we're going to do three single crochets um, in the back loop only and then a decrease. So the back loop only, there's two loops. So you go into the back and you're going to do three single crochets like that. One, two, three, and a decrease. And the, these are all in the back loops only. One, two, three, oh no, three, decrease. This is round 13, and I will meet you at the end of round 13. Here I am at the the end of round 13. I have a few more to go. One, two, three, and my last decrease. One, two. So once again, at the, at the, um, I'm going to put a stitch marker in my work to hold my stitch not to lose it i'm gonna start stuffing him now so get your stuffing and i just put a whole bunch in there then what i do is i go from the center out and push it out from the center out Then I grab some more stuffing and I put that stuffing in the center. And then center out. Let's see how he's looking. There we go. I think he needs a bit more stuffing, but I'm going to stuff it more after the next round. I think that's good enough. I didn't fully stuff him. So now I'm going to grab my hook and round 14, we're going to work on the legs. And they're just similar, just almost just like the arms, just a few more stitches. So what we're going to do is do two single crochets, one, and then one in the next. And now we're going to do a decrease. Decrease. An invisible decrease is where you only do the front loops only in your decrease. 
decrease. Now for the leg, it's just like the arm. We're going to slip stitch in the back loop only. And then in, um, we're gonna do four chains instead of six. So we're gonna do, I mean, we're gonna do <laughs> six chains instead of four. So let's do six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to place a half double crochet in the second loop from the hook. Oh no. There's our half double crochet. Now we're going to do four more half double crochets, one in each of the remaining chains. One, two, three, four, and we're going to slip stitch right back in that little slip stitch we already did. You can see the line right there. We're going to slip stitch. Then we are going to do one single crochet. We're going to do a decrease, decrease. We're going to do two single crochets. One, two. Now we're going to decrease. Only picking up the front loops to make an invisible one. It's a little stuffing on mine. That's okay. Then we're going to do the next leg. So in the back loop, we're going to slip stitch. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna get my yarn out of there. I'm gonna do a half double crochet in the second chain from the stitch, a half double crochet. Then I'm gonna do four half double crochets, one in each of the remaining chains. Two, three, four, and then I'm going to do a single crochet, a decrease, two single crochets, one, two, a decrease, two single crochets, one, two, and a decrease, oh no, there we go, now now we are on round 15. You want to do a single crochet and then a decrease. And, and then remember you're back to where the slip stitch is. You don't want to do that. You want to do it into the previous stitches um, front loop that we left. You want to do a single crochet into that. And then you want to push the leg forward into the side and you want to find your very first single crochet. There it is. You want to do a decrease. And then the next stitch is a single crochet. The next two stitches you decrease and then you take one, two, decrease. Now you're back at your leg so you want to push him back and in your front loop which is right here you want to do a single crochet then you want to push it forward and find 
your single crochet, the next one, and you want to do a decrease. So decrease. It doesn't have to be exact or precise. It's okay because we're just decreasing. We're just closing up the bottom of it. Now you do a single crochet. You do a decrease. A single crochet and a decrease. Now we're going to stuff it a little bit more. I will put a stitch marker on and add just a little bit more stuffing in there before we do our last round. And I am pushing to the center and pushing out to the center out. He needs just a little bit more stuffing. Now I'm just going to push that in the center. The center out. And then, how do I like him? I think he seems firm enough. I'm going to Push some to the sides a bit. Okay, our last round, round 16. I'm going to take my stitches out. I'm not going to worry about my um, yarn holder. I'm going to do four decreases, not six, just four decreases. And we'll have eight stitches. One decrease, two, oh no, two decreases, three, four. A lot of times somebody would have had you do two more decreases but um, you don't need to there's not enough room for that so after you did four decreases you have eight stitches left you want to take uh, i don't know maybe six inches and then cut your yarn pull this through i'm going to now remove this ribbon and i just take this and I just start pulling it out. That's how I get the ribbon out. Yes, it's a little work, but it's a little work to put a stitch marker on and off as well. So there we go. That's now gone. So I'm going to close up my um, this hole so I'm going to thread it through the front loop only not both of them only the front loop and it will help hide stitches and stuffing so you, we should have eight loops there's one two oh no three four five, six, seven, oh, it's getting stuck on his leg, seven, and eight. And then you just pull it tight. And now you just work on threading in your, I like to go back in the center so I can pull it tight again through the center, make sure that hole is nice and closed. Then I just weave it in back and forth a few times, just in random places. I make sure I follow some of the same stitches if I can, so it looks normal. It looks like a normal stitch, like it belongs there. If there's any holes, I feel like, oh, there's a hole. 
that I need to hide maybe a little bit. I'll go there. So, and I just go back and forth until I run out. So that's good enough. And then I'm going to cut this and push it through. Oh, I lost it already. I don't know where it went. <laughs> And there he is, or she is. You can sculpt her a little bit more if you want to. But she's done. She's got her arms, her legs. She sits. Hello. She's so cute. So I hope you guys show me yours on my Facebook page or email me um. And um, remember, you can put on three eyes um, if you want to, or a big eye and a small eye, however you want to de decorate them. You can change the background um, felt to a different color. You, it, it uses up scrap yarn. Look at the size different of these two, and it's the same stitches and everything. This, the pink, is um, Premier Just Active Worsted from the Dollar Tree. It is so much smaller than I love this yarn. Look at that. Same size, same stitches, everything. And um, this is this one, this size right here. That is from, oh my goodness, like ice yarns. And then this one is a walmart brand look at the size difference from the wow from the dollar tree same stitches same hook size same person hmm anywho i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you talk to you later bye